Breaking news. Igbo Presidency, Ohanieze set up committee to commence and to visit Emia, Emias, Obas, other traditional leaders to emphasize the Igbo Presidency. I, I think that's a good one. Honestly, I think that's a good one. I think they are really, you know, making all the possible plans that they could put in place to ensure that you know, uh, the Igbo presidency is realized. But again, I hope, I sincerely hope that, you know, they will not be played just like you saw Igbo elders go to Buhari to say, you know what, release our son to Russell Nandi Kano. Buhari promised them he will look into it. And as we speak, Nandi Kano is still in custody. Why those who have been kidnapping Nigerians and committing all forms of crimes and atrocities, Buhari called them repentant bandits and have allowed them to walk away. Okay? Allow them to walk away. Why those who steal the money of the nation, who were governors and they destroyed their states, guess what Buhari did to them? He gave them presidential pardon. But those who are crying for freedom and justice are the ones being treated as though they are criminals. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanieses in the Bulls, have set up a committee that would visit the various emirs, obas across the country to draw support from them to appeal to their people in the political parties to nominate Igbo candidates for the 2023 presidential elections. The president of the Anambra State Branch of Ohanieses, Obi Chikwemeka Udochi, who spoke as a presidential aspirant on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, Professor Peter, interacted with the leadership of Ohanieze Zindabo, during which he formally enforced them of his asp of aspiration, said the Igbos, we are leaving no stone unturned to ensure that for the sake of equality, justice, fairness, the next president of Nigeria should be an Igbo citizen and one from the Igbo region, the southeast particular of the state. Although express worries at the stories making rounds that two major political parties were nursing the ideas of presenting their candidates from the northern part of the country at this time. The general feeling among Nigerians was that the presidency should be zoned to the southern part of the country. This has not been humored or answered. According to him, Obi, the highest decision-making body of Ohanieze Zindabo, would meet in Enugu on May the 5th, 2022, to take far-reaching decision on 2023 Igbo presidency. The committee puts together who is a former chief judge of Anambra State for presenting himself to serve Nigeria at the highest level after his years of service. In the judiciary addressing the people he pledged to administer good administration to the country with fairness and reposition nigeria for the path of progress harmony and prosperity urging nigerians to support the Igbo presidency it says they have set up a committee to go to the emirs and the north all all bars across the regions of the country to bring the Igbo presidency and to make sure this matter is taken seriously, encouraging their people to ensure that political parties are given the political parties ensure that they bring in Igbos as their nominated candidates. So this is what Ohanies and Zindibos are doing. They are going around and they are making real concrete decision to ensure that, um, you know, an Igbo presidency is not denied again. Okay, I say not denied again because, you know, Southeast sons that have put themselves out for this position, it feels very much like, you know, they, 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 are, they are coming out may not be, you know, honored by all. This is because, you know, we see Northerners coming on board.
the likes of the Senate President, Ahmed Lawa, who wants to become Nigerian's president, the likes of Atiku Abubakar. These two people belong to two major political parties in the country. With all the call and the clamor for fairness and equality, it feels very strongly that they can't be bothered. Okay? Igbo sons and daughters have come together to say enough is enough. We can't continue like this. We must take our stand and we must take it now. So this is what is happening. Okay, this is what is going on. So my wonderful people, it is time for us to, you know, it's time for us to begin to, it's time for us to reconsider and look at what we believe in this nation. What do we want? And how do we want these things done? What do we want? The Southeast has been neglected. Now they are speaking in terms of equality, fairness, truth, and justice. And Hanyez Zunduguz are trying to make and trying to put all steps necessary to ensure that the Southeast is not neglected, is not, you know, is not pushed aside again as the elections approaches. So the time to make a real difference is now. So at the end of the day, we are a people, you know, who have a voice. You know, people have been calling for a long time now that after Buhari, the Southeast should come on board. However, We've seen the very Southeast people sabotage themselves. Have you not seen Southeasterners who are going out to support others instead of supporting their own people? Have you not seen? Rocha Sokorocha told Nigerians that, uh, you know, he will not even support. He said Peter B may be one of the most qualified persons, but he will not support him. When asked why, he said because Peter B is not in the same party with him. Is that enough reason? So... If the person is not in your party, what about the good of you all? What about the collective good of you all coming together with one voice to make sure that what you've been crying for comes to pass? Well, this is what the organizers, the step they are taking, going round to meet Obas, going round to meet, uh, you know, Emias and all who could possibly listen to, you know, prevail on their people to say, give you know, the Southeast opportunity, a chance to produce next president. You know, if you don't ask for it, you may not get it. So it is good that this decision is being made and it's been reached. You see, it's terrible. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye.